The Lord says to my people here at Jubilee, I love you with an everlasting love. I want you to know I have not forgotten you. I have not forgotten my promises to you. Do you not know that where the word of the king is, there is power? My power to accomplish for you has not diminished, nor have I become slack concerning my promise to each of you. You have all been through the time of preparation, a quite lengthy time to make you ready. Just as the children of Israel were made ready in Egypt, just as Joshua readied the people for three days before crossing the Jordan, just as the church was made ready in the upper room, so have I been preparing you, Jubilee. For certainly a work, an outpouring, a movement of my grace, power, and spirit is now ready to come upon each of you. A true New Times, New Testament Passover deliverance is coming upon each of you. You each shall experience as Israel did. You each shall overcome your enemies as Israel did. You each shall plunder this world's economic system as Israel did. You each shall receive strength and wholeness where you were once feeble as Israel did. You shall accept my wonder-working power as Israel did. I have not forgotten you. I have not forgot your labor of love. Jubilee, receive this day new hope. Jubilee, Receive this day great expectation. Jubilee, receive this day all I have promised for you. To the shepherd of Jubilee, I say, my son, this is the day of my reckoning. This is the day of my proving. This is the day of my honoring. For your adversary has smitten, pressed, lied, stolen, and divided. But none of his schemes have moved you, my son. None of his relentless oppression has swayed your heart from me. You have run well, my son. You have endured all, my son. You have loved and worshipped me while being beaten down, shackled, and hindered. But I say, today, I have come as the Ancient of Days to judge and execute my will on your behalf. The Lord says, Shepherd, I am here on your behalf. Ask of me, and I'll give you the nations. Ask of me, I will cause you to be my great agent of unity. Ask of me, I will use you as my great emancipator. As those tried in the furnace, where even the fires of testing were increased seven times, so were you, my son, yet without complaint. Yet without murmuring, even without losing hope in my plans and my purposes. For my great grace was upon you. My shepherd, this is your greatest hour and greatest time of servanthood for me. You have stood when you were exhausted, you have stayed when leaving would have been easier. You have not forsaken your call when others did, 
and you have not failed in character when the famous did. In all of this, my son, you have proven to hell more than being a servant, more than being a shepherd, more than being a prophet to your time. You have proven to hell by being my son, my son. The glories, the beauty, the honor of my kingdom. The glories, the beauty, the honor of my kingdom will now be bestowed upon you and this house. Fear not, you jubilee shall not be as others who had this promise, who after upon receiving it, self-destructed, being sabotaged by pride, arrogance, and self-inflation, I will protect you, says the Lord. I will protect you. For you have been through that which humbles my children. For you have been through that which crushes my children. That which brings forth the true wine of the fruit. So stand and walk into what my angelic hosts are bringing. Accept what my spirit blows upon this place and this coastline. For this is that visitation. This is that habitation that all the years you have prayed and longed for, says your Lord and King. <clears throat> 